Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. Against my better judgment, I'm going to try playing this game and then scaling up the gameplay. As you can see, way over there is the game that I'm going to try and play. And in post-editing, I'm hoping to scale it up because I cannot get it to work in any other way, shape, or form in my software. So I'm just going to try playing this for like 20 minutes. This was a suggestion that someone made to me a long time ago, and I figured I would give it a shot. If you do appreciate the efforts, make sure that you please comment and uh, leave a like and subscribe, as you all know to do. Please uh, help out the channel. Okay. Uh, big thanks, of course, to my legacy historians and early access historians who helped make all of this possible. Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, these guys are absolutely incredible, and everyone right up above here all of my folks who support my channel and wait for me to play other games while I'm doing all my other crazy stuff. So, let's try this. And now back to Eye of the World with Jane Catlin. And tonight's special feature, an Eye on the World exclusive. The Argillus mission, what really happened. We found Argillus ten months ago, a Class A, M-type planet with clear signs of settlement. Towns, cities, industry, amazing bioorganic technology, but all abandoned. Not ruined, abandoned. No one there, just like that ship, the Mary Celeste. Terrible signs of habitation people. everywhere, but no people. It meant immediate quarantine, of course. The whole Argillus system a no-go zone. Off limits. You can't take chances. But Earth Central wanted answers too. Four months ago, they sent in three science teams to set up bases. All experienced first contact specialists. That meant support, which is why we were there. We were the first cargo drop since those teams went in. Oh, but I no one was answering. So much. Channels were open, systems online, but there was nothing. No sign of the mission orbiter, and the three sites just weren't responding. Damned, if we'd only known what to do. <laughs> Repeat, Argelus. This is ECS Angel. Please confirm approach vector or initiate upload. Over. Oh, dear. Repeat, Argelus. This is Angel. Do you copy? Nothing, Sam. Frequency's clean and clear. No one's home. Is this interference they warned us about? Never seen a magnetosphere like it. I'm taking us closer, Hannah. Put that on repeat and try the scanners again. There's nearly a hundred scientists down there. Or there were a hundred. We should notify Central while we've still got the beacon. Agreed. And ask if we can access that classified 902 what? now. Tell them. We are going to need a full mission briefing if we have to. Damn! We've lost everything. We'll have to abandon ship. But Sam, can't we try to deflect using our- We're too deep in the gravity well. The pods are our only chance. We'll rendezvous at phase one. That's how we came to Argelus. Two space jockeys with a bit of Xeno training, but no idea of what we'd find. And not even the mission briefing we were meant to get once we'd made contact with the science team. This is terrible. All that was lost with Angel. We could only pray we'd make it. Okay. Anna, it's Sam. Do you copy? Okay, I'll put this on record in case you can read it later. I've come down in some sort of balloon field. It's amazing. I'm actually on one. I'd have to be two, three thousand feet above the largest continent. These things drift with the wind, but I'm presently at 70926. That's latitude 2152 south, longitude 3314 west. There's nobody here. I'll look around and see if I can find some way down to the surface. Try to reach base one. I'll stay in touch, mania. Okay, so... Am I clicking around? Okay, so I'm scanning stuff. Am I moving around with this? Doesn't look like it. What's this do? Okay. So I can swap characters, basically. Okay, gotcha. Can he move around? Doesn't look like it. Can this 
next move. Well, it looks like a back button in this situation. It doesn't look like I can click it. <laughs> I can't take a picture, can I? It doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm assuming that horn is supposed to be important to us. Oh. Let's see if there's any other settings here that I can be aware of. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, well, obviously we can move around with her, so I guess that's what we're doing here. Boy, this is like mist. Sam, this is Hannah. Do you copy? Okay, I'll record everything. Put it on repeat till you get it. I'm down safe at 42872. That's latitude 4226 north. Longitude 5618 West. In a town on some sort of organic ship floating on the ocean. Just incredible. There's no one here. The whole place seems deserted. I'm gonna look around, see if I can find a way to get to you at base one. Grant out. So here's my thing. I'm seeing this. But it looks like I can only go forward now. So this is confusing me slightly, but let's see what happens. It's a little bit glitchy considering how old it is. You'd think it would be running pretty smoothly on my computer right now. Oh, this is really glitchy. I don't like this. Am I supposed to be able to... Oh! Oh dear. Okay, so I can look around with my keyboard. Okay, so once again, not natural controls as to what we use nowadays. So let's try and go this way. Oh man, if this is bad to glitch, I don't know if we're going to want to keep playing it. I like that they give you an idea where you're going to stop, at least. Um, let's try switching back to Manny and I guess look around. Okay, so I can look around with this guy. Boy, this looks right out of mist. Oh, here we go. It's the personal log of the Dr. Richard he must be one of the scientists. But just the one entry. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Whoever found this, you must get away at once. Leave immediately. You don't know that there's a powerful... He was a better actor than everybody else. First the Argillans go missing. Now the science personnel. What could be doing it? What was Doctor... What would warning me about? <sighs> I wish we'd had that briefing. Why is this so glitchy? Okay. Oh. Definitely not in the same place. Okay. V and A circle. V line A circle. There's nothing comparable to it. So let's see if we can do anything over here with that V line A circle deal. There's a V line and A circle. V line A circle. 
don't see him do anything. Hey, Circle D line. Hey. Come on now. Hey, Circle D line. Nothing. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Not much luck. Now, what's this center line that I can't do anything with, apparently? Nothing behind it, nothing around it. Can't do anything. It's just going to keep putting me back. Okay. So this game was a suggestion. I don't remember who suggested I check it out. But um, I'll give it a shot. If the graphics play a little nicer, then I'm willing to keep going. But if they don't play nice... I don't see us getting very far with this. The second part of that whole story would be, um, obviously, uh, if you guys like it, I'll try to keep playing it. If not, then we're not going to go very far with this. The second or third, oh, it's just so gritty. I mean, like it, it's, I wonder if there's a better way to play it. But the other thing I'm noticing is that they, I have a feeling that this organization who made the game, maybe their first language was not English, German? <laughs> it seems like they're trying and we're really struggling. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. What's that? Sam, I'm getting something. Some optical effect. Looks like a human to me. Guess I'll just keep going for now since I have nothing else to do. Oh, The other situation I'm facing is that my screen that I'm having to play this on, I tried to get it in window mode and it would not do it for any reason. So I'm seeing it in this very wide aspect ratio when you guys are seeing it in a 4x3 aspect ratio that I scaled up just because of how my game software is recording it versus how I'm seeing it. up again? No? Okay. Let's see. Where we are? Uh, and so far I've gotten so used to the mist games that I'm just making assumptions on how this game is supposed to play and I could be completely wrong about it because it's made by a completely separate developer. So as I'm walking around this world trying different things out, I could already be hurting myself humongously in this game. So, if you have any knowledge and you want to in put in your input, you go right ahead. Um, I don't know if this is a situation where we want to deal with spoilers slash no spoilers. And if we're not getting a lot of views on this game, um, and a lot of attention on this game, then this is one where, 
either we keep playing it for our members only channel uh, and you'd hit the join button and we just play it for our membership or we put it to the side and move on to the next. I mean, I'm actually looking forward to playing Myst 5. That's kind of the next theory in my in my mind. So, I was playing Uru and it was getting a couple of views, but it was also just feeling so incredibly disconnected. It was actually really a miserable game to play because it it was supposed to be made for online modes and there was a bunch of random stuff that didn't really make sense. supposed to look at this for some reason? Interesting. Let's look at the little spike thinking out of this. It looks like a, it looks like a human, I mean not a human body, but a, a monster of some sort. Like, animal. Was I supposed to control that with the keyboard? No. But I did see one of those little spikes stick out just now. Let's go ahead and swap back to our friend on the opposite side and have a look-see at uh, what he's seeing right now. Here's the thing. There is nothing putting these two together. I think that's the point. Um, oh, good heavens, look at how confusing this is. Um, none of these symbols are the symbols that we saw earlier. Um, I assume this is a... Can I control any of it? Sure doesn't seem to be the case. So, I'm just going to keep on walking. Walking, walking, keep on walking to nothing. Alright, let's look over here first. All this tech, there has to be a way to operate these things. Those look like eyeballs to me, that doesn't look like tech. awkward enough as it stands. Um, okay. Nothing happening here. Looks like a, some sort of inflated balloon. And you think if he's... One gas can be used, and that's two times stronger than the other gases in the collector that gets it from the atmosphere. The collector is unstable, so you can't know which pipe carries the right gas. You'll your lifting power. Just one try, because the pattern changes each time. I wish we could get more... Dr. Bremer's trying to help. That means huh. she can see me. Hmm. I need to find that gas collector. What was it she said? One gas exactly two times stronger than the other. Then guess which pipe? Oh. this on the other unit? Oh. Oh. So... Okay. For once, we're actually playing a game now. So... What did I just do? Okay. I don't even know what I'm looking at there, but did that mean the gas went down? Does this one have the same function? Yes, it does. So, uh, the presumption would be that I need to fill one balloon, double the other balloon. But how do we know what gas is what? Okay. Can I just pump in more? Or is each one of these a different gas? Oh! Did, 
you see how the arrow was going in opposite direction, I think, on that main eyeball? Same deal. Okay. So this looked like it turned. But let's try just another one of these for giggles. Go ahead and send it. I don't see a difference as of yet. Nothing else is clickable here. Luna's clickable. If I go back... See how this is pointed the other way now? So... Same issue. Same issue. I don't even know where that ship is, for the record. Now, each one of these is different somehow. Is this supposed to be a strength? What's one of these? I haven't really seen a difference between the two, so... Oh, there we go. It's in a completely different area, but it's the opposite of what I clicked. Didn't I click this one? Okay. So what if I go over here? I'm not getting these things right, because you got to jump between the keyboard and the mouse. Is that one just as full? Okay, so this one's doing the same deal. Let's just click one of these randomly. And that must send it out to the ship. Gotcha. Huh. Interesting. And confusing. What do you think? Should we keep playing this game? I'm just doing a very slow play, and uh, we're just doing this first 20 minutes just to see if it even is worth playing and see if I can even edit it to make it viewable after I get done playing these things. So if you're interested in seeing more, then you need to let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if my members are watching this, then um, let me know your thoughts as well. Uh, this channel and these gameplays are mainly for my members. Uh, I have a select few members that really enjoy the gameplays, and they pay to support the channel to see more gameplays. So that is why I'm here and that's why I'm doing this uh, in lines of all the other tech reviews and things like that that I do here and all the news that I've been putting out. I still intend to do all of that. This is something that I originally did with my my viewers and with uh, people who enjoy the channel that I've already created. And this is something that uh, I'm just going for the flow. So. Hopefully right now here you're seeing some other options for some other videos that might interest you as well. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it crispy for Tim 412 and I'll see you next time in another video.